as you see the Nets outscoring the Timberwolves 40 to 27 in that second quarter and route to a 127 97 victory Nicholas Claxton getting his first career start Nets again 16 1 run to start that second quarter and the Nets leading wire to wire the largest lead by 45 points the Nets improved to 37 and 17 as you see the top of the Eastern Conference standings with such a stage for what should be a very fun and competitive game tomorrow night in Philadelphia adding to the storyline with Ryan Rucco the quote that he read from Ben Simmons earlier about there only being one ball in Brooklyn and that you need to be able to play some defense I think we're going to have some fun tomorrow night. Michael Grady, Sarah Kustak, Nets get it done. And Kust is coming off of that game against the Lakers where the Nets look somewhat lethargic, especially after Kyrie Irving got ejected. They brought the energy from the jump in this one. rotations and in the lineup and so I think you know for Steve Nash for this coaching staff it, it, it's a really nice place to build from especially given the amount of players that have been out that's and, and again we can't say that enough what the Nets have been able to do with so many different players out and they had to finish this game without a true point guard <laughs> I know Landry Shamit I, I would have asked him would have brought up memories of his Wichita State point guard days. He would days. have told you he's used he to He would have, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Like, Brady, I had the ball in my hand every single play back at Wichita State. <laughs> but the fact that they were able to get it done again, you know, without a point guard in this particular situation, but shorthanded with so many different guys out and have that type of performance with the ball movement that we saw really says a lot. And, and here's the deal to put it into context. We know that Minnesota is one of the bottom five defenses, but the fact that there is an understanding with the offense how they want it to flow the balance and spacing on the floor initiation from multiple players and it wasn't just about the point guard role but we saw different players able to initiate offense how they were getting some of those open looks and so much of it started with how they played on the defensive end they were taking care of the basketball they were getting stops it allowed them to push and get going in the fast break and I think just so much of that comes from the rhythm and the feel of these guys just knowing how to play and because they have a high basketball IQ they've quickly gelled together and fit together in a way that they can find one another on the floor.